Hello. We're going to go back to the 110 model. Now, as you can see, she's constructed. She's been painted. Uh, this is my fantasy uh, scheme. It's made up or inspired by the uh, E4 scheme, Battle of Britain scheme camouflages. But I have used the decals and information that came with the 110 kit. Uh, but as you can see from the other side, it's fairly blank. But we've got four exhaust sets. Uh, the outboard ones go up and the inboard ones, like this one, go down. So on the inside here, we'd expect uh, dirt and grime from the smoke. We'd expect from the radiators something. Uh, definitely streaks on some of these out points that are coming out, maybe from these front ledges. Uh, on the top, we'd expect things from all this surface detail. We'd expect something flowing this way. Now, I did do the 109, um, quite like the 109, uh, weathering effect. Uh, but I, this is a new style. We're going to use oil. So um, these are a couple of quid from the works in the UK. Um, we've got plenty of colours in there. So we've got uh, black, and then we've got this nice brown set. So we've got a burnt umber, uh, deep red, uh, burnt sienna, and then an ochre orange, ochre yellow. I'm going to use the burnt umber for some of the uh, streaks from airflow, and I'm going to use the black from uh, for the exhausts. I've also got a charcoal, piece of charcoal, which I'm going to use to break down and, and add dust to things, but that will be a second stage. So I have uh, one oil brush that I've already marked up. So this, this brush is just for oil, um, but it isn't very strong. That's an application brush. Uh, so this brush is going to be um, sacrificed to the gods of oil painting because it's gone a bit stiff. Um, it's not um, as pliable as it was. I really like this brush. Uh, it's a number six flat, but this came from a Chinese seller off eBay. So the whole set was like a quid. I'll get some more, but you can see it's it's it, it's dying a bit. There's, there's crud on the end of there. But I don't want to do this oil thing on this model straight away. Paint me all. So this is the Harrier that I got for my birthday. Um, did the really nice cockpit on it, but lost the canopy it just vanished to the carpet monsters I, it's probably in this room don't know where um, we have a whole other harrier to do this was a learning experience uh, all sorts of things went wrong so losing the canopy was one breaking the uh, Zeus module at the front or whatever that is there I, I broke that um, I tried to do some early um, weathering here you see these panels are weathered um, just didn't go quite right. Uh, the underside was okay. The inside of the uh, undercarriage areas was far too white, but the white didn't go evenly, didn't like it. I started then highlighting some of the hydraulic lines, but I did that after the fact. Um, I mean, it's okay as a build, but you can just see it's too white, too clean. And, and this was a Humbro uh, acrylic grey, and it went on horribly really turned me off from humbrols um i say i always prefer rebel aquacolor um about which we have pure black we're not going to use that specifically right now so i'm going to start by getting a very soft pencil and we're going to say that this here is the uh outport of some sort of oil and we're going to run it this way down the body. So that's my idea. Okay. So I've drawn very lightly on the model. So I could draw here. And you just wipe it off. Just wipe your finger and off it comes. Uh, but I'm going to go that way. And that's a guide that tells me the line it's going to follow. And you can see it is a, a natural sweeping line the airflow would take and we're going to start with a tiny piece of the black so the black is already open and there is black in the lid so i'm just going to take that out and i think with oil less would be more so let's just take it that way smooth this off 
and then just work it. So I'm working it, taking off the excess. I think this that's too much. But the great thing is we can get a cotton bud and we can just start to work it out now. So that's looking a lot more like weathering like In fact, this may be a better way of doing it than with the brush. So it's naturally left a darker, um, you can see here, it's left a darker line on the rear side and in the pore, but then the smoothing of it down, the aircraft looks natural. We went from here. We could literally just give a, a highlight to some of the some of the wing detail just with that effect. I quite like that. I, it might be a case then that we put it down. So if we take a tiny bit of the oil paint and spread it on the work surface and work it in with the with the tip of the cotton bud. So I'm really, really trying to get a lot of it off. I'm almost dry brushing. And then we run it. That works really well actually. It's working really well in there. Or you just carry on. And if it's too much, we just keep smoothing it in. That works really, really quite well. Uh, a bit dark on that upper surface. There they go, it's just smooth straight in. So we can see now the exhaust, internal exhaust nozzle is taking the colour. It's taking it down the length of the aircraft. Just as proper soot would flow. We can see this from the baffle, the jet exhaust. So uh, let's go to the 110. Let's start with this uh, outside edge. Um, Let's find the best place and direction to hold this. I'm letting the fingers take their weight. This is actually going up and over. So we go that way. And I'll swap into a drier one. I'm just carrying the soot over the top of the wing. Very subtly. Just like that. So we've got quite a deep line. You see the dark line? And we just start smoothing. Smoothing in. And the underside here, this is going to be quite obvious because it's a much lighter colour. So we can uh, really see this line. Let me just start smoothing it in. And we'll do the same here in the radiator. 
just to baffle it in. So you can see that definitely. We'll do that one. We'll do this inside layer. Just like this. Well, that looks quite good to my eye. Got this double streak. I can't get it down into the crease very well. So what I will do is use the paintbrush to actually get some in the crease into the panel line and carry on with the cotton bud just like this we'll do the same on this upper side And then just carry on smoothing. Okay. And I will actually do the same just from the guns. Just give the nose, just give these a little bit of a Dirtying up, so uh, be careful not to damage the aircraft or swipe this wing. But I'm just running the oil paint backward and forward, just in these places, just getting it in to where it's needed. We can see this panel line. So we go back to this brush. We just carry on along there. I'm going to use the brush to just give some tone and definition to the inside of the radiators because there's no other way of doing it. Just like that. And just smooth it in. Really quite impressed with this. So I'm going to swap to the burnt umber in a moment. I think that's all I want for the black. It's just a hint over the wings. May. Just smooth it in. This needs some in this crease here. And I did seal the whole uh, aircraft in uh, Vallejo matte varnish. So it's had two coats of Vallejo matte varnish before any of this has gone on. So this isn't directly on the acrylic. This is acrylic and then two layers of acrylic uh, matte varnish. And then we're working this around. But I think you can see the effect now here. You can see this gaseous effect. So I'm quite happy with the black. That's literally all we need. Just a dot. Just a dot of this. Um, but we're going to do the burnt umber on the underside. So I will get rid of the black cotton buds. And we've got a fresh one. Uh, but I won't worry about the brush because uh, we may very well mix it darker and lighter as we move it around. So this is just to then get to that dry brush feel. You see it's hardly anything coming off there. And we will now run this inside the wheel wells. Just a little, we'll smooth it in in a moment. 
and I'll just mix it in a bit with the exhausts just off the leading edges so it's a dirty a dirty working aircraft is the is the purpose of this it's not a wash it's just a hint that the aircraft has been busy so this is the underside ports and things just getting a slight hint of stuff hanging off them so anything that's a detail it's just getting a a hint so you'll see here there's a hint I'm just working really well with this brush quite like this right now it's just one at this left hand wing tip which tells me there'll probably be one at the right hand wing tip that you guys can see it's just there um, we I know we've got several down the side so uh, can we see here there's actually a door a little axis this way so we'll just hit that um, ditto now the top surface of the wing this is going to be less obvious because of the colour we've gone for but we'll just smooth it in so these ports are going to have some grime and grease because they are you know actively used a lot this is used for filling you can see the slight effect now we need to maybe modify these in a little now let's just smooth them in they're just a tiny tiny hint of what's going on we're trying to tell the story not bash the observer over the head with it uh, we've got another door here we'll just hit the door couple on the wing and we'll just smooth that in so it looks dirty it looks like the aircraft has been busy okay so it's not uniform anymore we've we've broken up the underside here you can see the grime now on the underside there. We can see, uh, maybe this is a bit strong. Let's just rub this in. And then in, in the wheel wells, I know it's a little very, very strong. So I'll just run gently the whole cotton bud around on the inside. And then the inside of the wheels need the outside. They just need a bit of brown. They'd be on grass landing strips after all. So we need to remember that. But it's not a, it's not a lot we can do. Um, I'm not putting any chipping on this model. It's just, it's just the colour of the, of the rearward moving smoke. So you can see now we've got one two three with the smoke four just about visible five the mirror matching one of that side six seven eight good trails of stuff maybe one just from the light um there are some forward to backwards running panel lines like these two here uh, and these two here so what we'll do is we'll just run the brush down them it won't mark them so I'm not pushing paint into the groove um, what I'm doing is I'm just letting the paint express that muck would gather at the front edge and would run backwards off the aircraft just like that okay, dirty up the rear edge like this I'll just smooth that in some more
Now, I'm wondering whether silver oil paint is a thing. Because if it is, this would be a very, very good technique for some of the marks I want to add. So that's the oil pass nearly done. So under sidewise, we've got uh, these two. There's a pair on each wing. You can just about make out the streaks. We've got the radiators, so the pair of radiators. Uh, so there's these two, then this radiator, then the underside exhaust. We've got some pieces here. We've actually got too much on this. Flyweight and too much on the aerial. But it's almost as if the aerial has, has hit ground. We need to put a bit back here behind the tail wheel. And I just want to put a hint of it on the underside because it would it would be blowing up uh, grass and dirt and sods, which, which do catch if, if this ground is soft after rain and they're first taking off, the wheels would churn up the... Um, um, uh, propellers would throw back a lot of wind obviously the air and you you get all sorts of bits and bobs stuck back here that would fall off they wouldn't stay for very long but they'd they'd leave a mark or an impression so you see that's just overdone a little there and we just smooth it in and that's it that's that's the weathering pass more or less done so you need a paint mill. You really, really need to know what you're doing here with this. And you need to then do this technique very, very subtly. Very, very subtly. You can see here how subtle it is. Thanks for watching. And if you'd like me to get a 2K or a 4K webcam, like and subscribe. I promise I'll get one.